All right, dudes. Big wow news today. So this is Warcraft 30th Anniversary Direct. Celebrations, reflections, and a look ahead. Very exciting stuff. Now, I've seen a few of these things on Twitter, but I wanted my first, like, actual, like, watching of the event and the reveal of the stuff to be with you guys, so... Let's dive in. Let's dive in. I think they were sh they showed some kind of, like... Like, a little video at the very beginning of this thing, but... Yeah, I'll check it out. That's crazy, though. Warcraft 30th anniversary? 30 years? I mean, I'm 34 years old. WoW's, or at least Warcraft, has been around for 30 years, almost my whole life. And it was 20 years of World of Warcraft, right? And those past 20 years, uh, what, like 14 of those have been me, you know, playing WoW and creating content with WoW, which has completely changed my life, right? It's incredible. It's incredible. So that's a tremendous achievement for really anything to be like around and relevant and growing for that long. Let alone in like the gaming world, but like, yeah, any media being like that big of a deal consistently is wild. So what they've accomplished is tremendous. And I guess in some small way, I've been part of that too, because we've created content about it. So let's watch some of these. So this is, they just got their tunes with some, with some of the like cinematics. I'm down, I'm down to check this out again. It's. It's early, but we can refresh our own memory about this and chat a little bit. Andashram subs up. Your brother got you into WoW when Burning Crusade came out? Yeah, that was that was before my time. But I mean, like, my first experience with WoW was in vanilla. I think I have that shirt. But I didn't play myself until, like, Kata. Landed here in Irvine uh, and went into the Blizzard campus. I literally didn't believe it was happening. I went into my office and on the on the door sign against my door, it said Chris Metzen. So I just saw him going into the room one day and just I completely geeked out. <laughs> it's so strange coming Those are to work and realizing oh, I, I I work on this thing now. I get to contribute to the world in whatever way that I can and then seeing it How's the volume on that? game, whether that's a couple months afterwards or even up to a year after I finished the task. That's crazy, though. People how far out they is, work and plan this stuff. It's amazing, honestly. That is wild. Oh, wow. I gotta show that to Jenny, the little map. That's so cool. Yep. That's where it all began I mean, with me, with right my there. Friends is probably the best part of World of Warcraft. Like a lot of the memories I have growing up. Deathwing, what a cool shirt. Things I did with my friends. I, I really like the communities in our games, um, especially in World of Warcraft. I've made a lot of friends. Definitely some of my closest friends are people that I've met uh, playing World of Warcraft. That's cool. I've gone to uh, a few different. Right, this must be so amazing. Yeah, I bet. I met playing I bet. WoW. WoW means a lot to me. I met my wife playing World of Warcraft. Pretty incredible people working so at Blizzard. It is a game that means an awful lot to me personally for sure i met my wife through so back in 05 and you're 34 as well wow we wanted to play uh arena together oh we wow talked more than play that's from so evelyn right there know her a they're using some of the evelyn and clips many years later on the Elitis. we have a family together and Aww. uh we're still playing wow and me and jenny you know met through wow essentially right 50 to 100 people pretty crazy that uh i've come across and stayed connected with uh, in my personal life and in professional life that we really strengthened our bond playing yeah. uh, World of Warcraft together. It is pretty incredible. I, I imagine there are very few types of media that have had the impact that World of Warcraft has. I mean, people kind of like ally themselves like around like love for star wars or lord of the rings or things like that but like world of warcraft is like up there maybe even i don't know in some ways a more more powerful relationship builder than 
than some of those things too. That's cool. Working. Okay, spoiler alert Hearthstone about Rumble. Man, just in the Warcraft franchise, and that, that, I think that was Hearthstone, but is something I've always dreamed about. The Rumble the news is pretty awesome. I've played and been a fan of for. That's my guy right uh, there. Most of my adult life, it's a dream come true. I think to work on World of Warcraft was um, I, I, something I, I could have never meet imagined. him like every BlizzCon. My job entails uh, is a senior test analyst, being on the team, working on Warcraft. That's my guy. It's an incredible experience. Yeah, Rumble is uh, pretty again, sweet, actually. I love the game anyways, uh, I have the passion for it, right? So I love to just be a part of that uh, whole experience. The Rumble news work in is very I actually exciting. Tower realm, so I see Attached your warrior if Wild Stars went down that many years ago. Like, yeah, that'd be crazy. I'm able to enjoy the That's one of the things I like about content creation so much is like a journal of my... used to. My gaming adventures, it's right? A great feeling to see that. Pretty cool. Something for me to look back on, as well as you guys to enjoy too, right? Try to share things that I think are interesting or you know, it's cool from what I've done, but also like the guides and stuff like that too. I was 12 years yeah. old, and somehow I ended up in, in a guild with a bunch of guys that were in their late 20s. They really enjoyed outdoor PvP. <laughs> and even though I was a lower level, I would still join them from time to time, let them use me as bait for alliance players. That's funny. Uh, my favorite memory is actually when I told my guildmaster on his out. I managed to beat him, and then for the first time ever, I unmuted my mic and with the most high-pitched, squeaky, prepubescent voice, I told him, how does it feel getting beaten by a 12-year-old? Oh my gosh. We had what we called computer oh time. Oh my god, he's so 12 like out there battling? Sheesh. Time we would have for using a computer where we'd have like two hours on, I would have like two hours on a Monday, Ryan would have two hours on a Tuesday or something. So yeah, we would have to trade off in that sense. Some days we might trade uh, hours or... Yeah, we yeah. used to s sometimes save some of our allowance money to buy hours from each other to have more oh, wow. computer time. My first game was uh, Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos uh, in the Warcraft universe. That might and have been my there, first one I too, I think actually. The Frozen Throne. Yeah. I have a lot of memories playing. Yeah, I don't know if that's exactly what he said, Andrew Sean. Yeah, um, probably something more like you know, what you're a lot saying. Of those tower defense games that are yeah. super fun. I was one of the main healers. Yeah, Warcraft 3 kind of brought me to WoW, right? right? Um, and I was home for the summer from college, and my parents had just gotten a puppy. And that's I cool. was like, oh, my puppy's been really quiet. I don't playing all those like cinematics. Or not cinematic, playing all those like uh, custom games. Laptop. And she had gotten into one of my artist pages. And being like, to man, it'd be cool to keep your character afterwards. And me naturally being like, there it was. Worried World of Warcraft. I one of the uh, ink pens was toxic. I was like, oh my god, my puppy's gonna die. Did not explain further than that. Threw the laptop <laughs> and wiped our entire. What did I miss? Uh, and that's one of my favorite stories of how my puppy killed 25 people in World of Warcraft. I loved PvP, and I think. Uh... I think I went on a, a 10 win streak once. I'm not, I'm not that good, but I love it. And I think I went on a 10, 10 win streak once in the arena. And Popping I, off. And I didn't even think about it. It just happened, and uh, it's pretty awesome. You just like that, dude. You just built this. I diff. still remember the first time I went to How it BlizzCon. Is. It was the 2017 BlizzCon. I was really excited. Yeah, I wanted to watch the announcements with you, with you guys for the first time. announcements for all these different games live. I saw some of them on Twitter, but yeah, I wanted to watch this event with you guys. But I didn't really want to change my morning schedule to like be on when it started. This is this is fine. This is relaxed. This is chill. Gonna be some crazy stuff though. We can watch it together. Some of you guys have seen it already, which is fine. Plenty to be excited about. Warcraft's just pumping, man. They're just pumping. And, and again, I have like some ideas of like what it is, but I'll, I'll, I like to watch the announcements together. BlizzCon is amazing. I've been mired in Azeroth since you should try to find a way to get there days, at least one year. I haven't left since. It's I've tremendous. I've been playing World of Warcraft for about 15 years now. Well, longer than me, Which is pretty well I think. To think about. Yeah. I have been playing the same longer character, uh, Human Frost Mage, for all 15 years. Yeah, Jeez. I've been playing World of Warcraft for 20 years. Um, I actually started like uh, these guys early go. off in beta. I've been playing World of Warcraft, uh, I guess, uh, 21 years. That's good on your uh, resume, so though, right? Five years old. You got to put on like your, your WoW achievements on your, your Blizzard application, I'm sure. 20 plus years old. I've found files that were written before I was born. 
<laughs> I lived in San Diego at the time. What the heck? I heard that there was a midnight signing, and I got signatures from. We've gone to one of those uh, signing events before. Previously. I think it was for Legion. And it's so we have like one, we have a copy of one of the expansions signed, for me. And, signed by all know, the devs and stuff. And, Pretty like, cool. This experience of oh, you know, like I was such a passionate fan, and you know, you signed this, and now I get to work with you as a professional. It's wild. Whether no, they're, they're I think they've cranked it. They, they've, they've ratcheted up the amount of the content world, they're releasing. Or you want to like get in deep with your guildmates and like raid, as especially with hard WoW as or can. World, just Warcraft stuff. Um, there's a little something for everyone, and there's space for everyone to have a really satisfying experience. They're like, all right, no matter your play style, Warcraft's gonna like carry us for a while right. again. There's always just let it happen. Coming out. You know, just lean into it, right? Plenty of ways for both new and returning players. To Thumbs up for me. Get into the game. There is magic here, and I think that magic will continue uh, for the next 30, 40, 50 years. And I'm I agree. excited for what's to come. I'll be here. That's the plan. So far, so good. That was a cool video. All right, here we go. Keep it going. So I actually have played this. My friend let me borrow Warcraft 1. I just cheated my way through the whole campaign just for the story. My piece and my outlet. I have such a deep love for <laughs> Still slow. everything inside Azeroth. Still pretty crazy. I thought I'm gonna move on eventually as if it was just any other game. Nah. And it wasn't. Nah. Hey, man, where are Thanks for the Prime, man. Big flex for you. Pumping us up, dude. Thank you, man. I was a very introverted person. I was lonely. And then I accidentally stumbled upon World of Warcraft. I even ended up in a guild. And in the guild, I even made some friends. And we always come together to very enjoy sweet. the moments that we create in the game. Whether they're fun, competitive. I actually like Rumble. So the announcement with Rumble is actually pretty exciting. You sent me a whispering game going, my water just broke. And I said, oh my goodness, I guess we better go to hospital. And you said, nah, let's kill this dragon. And we did. <laughs> That's sweet. Very, That's very sweet. Changed my life. I cannot picture my life without WoW. Oh my god! Grubby popping off. Thank you, Warcraft, for giving everything that you gave us so far. Here's to like a hundred years more. Powerful stuff. That work is dead. I Warcraft saved my life. I really mean it. That work is toast. All right. Hearthstone, Warcraft, and Rumble. That campus is so neat. We've had the opportunity to go visit uh, quite a few times. It's always incredible. Everybody's really nice. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Warcraft Actually worked out there one time with Palinka. That was really fun. I'm Holly Longdale, the executive producer for World hey, of Warcraft. Hey, Holly. Alongside Hearthstone, Warcraft Rumble, and the Warcraft How's the volume on the video? Games, we are all honored to be here to celebrate some big milestones with you and talk about the future. Well, okay. Many of us began our Warcraft adventures as players before we became developers at Blizzard. No matter which game we work on, a we all share a deep love for the Warcraft universe. Today, each of the Warcraft development teams will be sharing what's coming up. Some of it next year. Some of those workstations are insane. Weeks from now and some will even be available today. So whether you've been traversing the plains of Azeroth with on. a view from above, or chilling in the Hearthstone Tavern, sorting out your minis for your Rumble machine, We've played a little bit of Hearthstone. I played a lot of Puzzle Rumble Guard. last year. Thank you so much for taking the time to join Over us. Over the Thanksgiving now, holiday, I was going ham on what Rumble. What better place to begin than with the games that started it all? Here's Brad Chan from the Warcraft RTS team. All right, let's see what's going on. Warcraft RTS. It's kind of funny how life is going on. I actually never thought about ever being a developer. When I was younger, I just wanted to play video games. Back in 2007, I was at a regional qualifier a gamer, playing a game called Warcraft 3. 
After I qualified for the tournament, someone came up to me, gave me his card, and was like, hey, we're looking for experienced RTS players to join our design team. Naturally, I said, I wasn't interested. I was Can you imagine? Win that, go to the Worlds, win that. Easy. Well, it was, uh, it was a good thing I kept that Can you imagine? Card, 16 years later, here I am, working on a game that remains so important to me. Getting a job so offer like that? Around the world. That'd be so sick. Throughout my career, I've stuck to a few guiding principles. When something is broken, you fix it. When something is wrong, you make it right. And if things aren't good enough, you make them. It's like, hey, you're pretty good at our so game. Would you ado, like to work on it? It's like patch 2.0 for Warcraft 3 Reform. Oh Available now, this patch over. Yeah, there's definitely some stories like that in, in WoW as well, scary. Yep. Interface. In addition, we are up resing cool. all classic Warcraft 3 assets to HD. You can now customize the type of assets you want to play with and even mix and match if you like. Oh, wow. We have also included a bunch of quality of life changes, such as in game hockey customization, a revamp ladder, and much, much more. Cool. We hope you enjoy this update, which will be available to cool. everyone who owns Reforge. Nice. Now, I'm not just here to talk about Warcraft 3. We're also here celebrating 30 years of Warcraft. So Very not only will we forge be no, got it. Yeah, today, I think there's probably a lot of stories like also that. Releasing but I mean, you just had a gaming event and they said, hey, we're just Warcraft looking for people. And one. So you can experience the you know? story from the very beginning. That's awesome though, isn't it? These remasters have brand new hand-drawn visuals that capture oh, the original art style from each game. And you'll be able to swap between the original graphics yeah, and is that the remastered one? versions in real time. Oh man, those look so cool. For Warcraft 1, we yeah, added modern controls one. such as right click move, band box select, and a faster game speed. Both oh, games sick. have also received various UI and UX improvements. So I never played such Warcraft 2, but that was pretty good, bars, right? Mission select screen and an increased unit selection. Warcraft 2 will still have multiplayer functionality, and all legacy custom maps will still be fully compatible oh, wow. and playable. That's very neat. We are also bringing back the Warcraft Battle Chest which will include Warcraft 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So here's the 30 nice. years of Warcraft. Nice, pick that up. And I, I, think I already have Warcraft 3. And celebrating, then reliving the story from the very beginning. Yeah, I remember people liking Warcraft 2, for oh, sure. I mentioned this is all available right now. now. Yeah, what the heck, that's cool. Tides of darkness have come again. Play a little, you can play a little Warcraft 2. Doing, a little Warcraft 2 campaign playthrough on stream. What do you guys think about that? That'd be hype, actually. You must lead your people Are there drops over there, too? What's in the drop? It's over there on the right. You see the uh, the two cat mounts? Pretty sweet. I, I wonder if it's different drops for different games, though. I'd be down to do a playthrough of the, of the old RTS. That'd be cool. Do a little campaign action on there. Oh man, the voice lines? Holy moly. That'd be fun, yeah, that'd be cool. As long as you guys can get your WoW drops. That, I, that's what I remember. I didn't play the game, but I remember that. Like, the, the big ogres plus the shamans that bloodlust them. And then the humans had to, like, have priests to individually dispel every bloodlust. I remember that interaction. Just my gaming knowledge. Here we go, so they... They updated it to make it look a little nicer. Great. And fully customizable visuals, which is cool too. So if like the OG style, you can rock that. Dude, I'd be down to do a Warcraft 3 campaign playthrough too, actually. That'd actually be hype. As long as you guys can get your drops, we'd have to, it's, but there's different drops, different game, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I kind of want to pry with you guys getting your WoW drops. I mean, holy moly. Those, those mounts are pretty, pretty sick. pretty amazing to think that Hearthstone... I'll think about it. I'll think about what, what we would play. It's been such an incredible decade. Together, we've made the tavern... That's interesting, though. The, the Warcraft joy, idea actually sounds kind of cool. ...and some very tall tales indeed. The we've Warcraft 3 storyline is kind of awesome. Old gods, ...and now we're traveling through space. But for me, the most incredible thing of all is that I get to work on my favorite game with such an amazing team. That'd be fun, Ever actually. Ever since Hearthstone came out, we've been with you on that road to Legend. Yeah, Warcraft 3 story is pretty awesome. I remember on my first climb to Legend, I had played something like it 500 games in one World of Warcraft. And as the clock ticked yeah. to midnight, I was two wins away and didn't make it. 
but I played another 500 oh. games the following month. And you get drops for every game from the one drop. Oh, Council. okay, cool. But so we could go games and play the other games. You get to get everything? Okay, more than cool. 160 Sorry, I'm talking over all this. That's cool. All played Maybe we will actually decade. do that. And that's not counting Battlegrounds. Maybe we will. Can you believe that it's been five years since the mode launched at BlizzCon? That's five years of building death rattle beast comps. I do feel like if we're gonna play one like at trinkets. all, we should play it's Warcraft awesome 3 first Battlegrounds grow from because that story is awesome and that game is probably the into what it is today. best. We are so thankful to our we community go backward for if being we really wanted to. this incredible decade. And we're we'll looking see. forward to the next 10 years in the tavern together. We'll see, we'll the see. The future is packed with even more places to explore. Yeah, you get everything from the one drop. Share. Okay, perfect. More expansions, perfect. more mini sets, and more surprises. We can just play anything? Okay, cool. Now, Crawl let's take a look. Bro, no, I, I don't know if I can start with Warcraft corner. 1. We're not, we're not going to make it that far, bro. One of the amazing things of working at Blizzard is getting to watch other teams pushing the boundaries on their own games. Can't start I think we're Warcraft all genuinely 1. fans of what our coworkers are up yeah, to. It's too it's slow. Really special when we find moments to collaborate. If we love it, we could go back. Is what I'm saying. What's up, Thinking. everybody? What's up? I hope you're enjoying your adventures among the stars in the great dark beyond. We loved working on this experience. I played Hearthstone a little. It's it's, it's cool. Mini set. We did a pretty fun event with it. Than ever before. Prepare to travel beyond Azeroth, beyond Warcraft, and into Heroes of Starcraft. Okay, that's crazy. I'm super excited for this mini set. I'm glad that they're going to do some more stuff with StarCraft. This deep I did win a Hearthstone tournament, yeah. A ton of people on the sick. team, so much love for StarCraft. Oh, sick. So being able to bring it into the Hearthstone Tavern Me and my coach, Ratsma, popped off. Some might say, it's about time. Hey, it's about time. Obviously, we knew we had to go big. The Zerg, Terran, and Protoss factions are represented on cards via a faction banner. That's Not cool. only do the cards in each faction work well with one another, yeah, that's really, that's really they're also neat. usable across multiple classes. Each of the factions also has a hero card, featuring one of the most iconic faces from StarCraft. So it's gonna be like Kerrigan? The yeah. are led by the Queen of Blades herself, yeah. Sarah Kerrigan. She gives Death Knights, Hunters, Warlocks, and Demon Hunters access to an oh, aggro like play style with <laughs> endless swarms of Zerg cards. After all, what would a StarCraft mini set uh, even enough. be without its own version All of the Zerg cool, Rush? edgy For classes. For Protoss, we have the legendary Artanis, seeking to yeah. unify his people. He grants his powers to druids, Gotta be mages, paladins too, right? priests, and rogues. Oh. He focuses on powerful, high mana cost units. I feel like the Protoss are, are very, very like to make paladin to cheaper. me. But I can also Finally, see the Paladin being aligned with human. The Terran besides of course. The iconic Jim Rayner. Thanks Jimmy to him, Rainer. warriors, Paladins, yeah. and Shamans will get a hold of the new Starship keyword. That makes sense to me. Set. But these aren't your average Starships. They're battle cruisers. When we first started working on this mini set, the Starcraft we went to the team and asked, uh, "What does this need to have?" The Starcraft uh, truly feel like Starcraft. Soundtrack is. We've made sure to represent hype. as many units from Starcraft as possible. There's even one character from Warcraft mm. that snuck their way into the set. Just starting, Joey. Grunty, the Terran armored Murloc. On top of everything else, <laughs> Heroes of Starcraft <laughs> has more cards than any mini set we've done before. There's so much to explore here. So many strategies, so many interactions, mm. and so much Grooving. Starcraft nostalgia. And Soundtrack is we might so have good. some special music as well, just for the occasion. Heroes of Starcraft. I need to listen to the StarCraft January soundtrack where we're playing WoW. But there's even more coming up for Hearthstone. We're making some big changes to Arena. They're, the, all the soundtracks are cool, but the, the human soundtrack in particular, man. As Leo mentioned, Arena all right. is getting a major glow up. But first, man Deathwing right let's there. talk about what makes Arena special. Arena is Hearthstone's premium draft mode, where you build your own deck from scratch. I don't think I've ever done Arena every mode. Run. It's all about you flexing your deck building skills and card knowledge to defeat your opponents. And believe it or not, I'm actually, hyped for that Warcraft thing. I gotta check that out. For ten years, so we thought it was finally time that for a little bit of an update. But, from but now I don't have on, it already. there will be two kinds of arena to choose from. Normal <laughs> arena has a shorter format that lets you complete your runs more quickly. It says I don't it still have gives it. you that awesome competitive arena experience. And after you've established yourself in the, the normal chest. arena, you'll be able to descend into the dark, dank cellar of the tavern, where challengers are engaging in high-stakes card play in our underground World arena. Of Starcraft. Underground has a distinctive basement aesthetic, That'd be longer runs, dish. and a new feature we call redraft on loss. This means that when you lose, you'll have the redraft option to redraft cards and edit your deck. 
That was rage draft on your loss. Chances of winning <laughs> as you take on more hardened challengers. We heard you also want a way to show I do off like that the you're fantasy an arena more than sci-fi for you. like MMO, arena but... ratings will be available for both the normal and underground modes. There's room for crossover for, for sure. Separate with the usual skill-based matchmaking in normal arena, but in underground arena. Like, You'll be throwing like a Helldiver Starcraft and facing kind of off style? against opponents of all skill levels. That'd be insane. Whether you're an arena veteran or maybe you just haven't clicked that arena button in a while, That'd be insane. we hope these changes offer you another exciting way you can enjoy your time in the tavern with us. And I'm happy right. to tell you all of this will be coming in the first half of next year. Now, here's Tyler to share okay. even more of what's in store for Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Hey everyone. As you can I think see, people still we've got game a lot of really pretty good, exciting right? things planned for the next few updates. But what kind huge of game director orchestra thing? Yeah, we could listen to that too. Spill even more beans about what's coming next. It's going to be the year of the Raptor. Oh, it's certainly not and impossible. No. I just awesome my preference is more of a fantasy some style. Of my favorite Azeroth locations. Certainly not impossible. Next year we kick things off with one of our most requested settings as we journey into the Emerald Dream. Oh, snap. here you'll find yourself in the middle of a legendary Got a G. between the Let's go, man. Big flex that prime pumping us up, dude. Thank you, man. Gods. They'll be fighting a high stakes battle over the fate thank of the you, world tree you. in our first expansion of the year. And things are going to heat up even more when the Druids of the Flame light up the mini set. Our okay. second expansion is also Hearthstone's first ever sequel. As we go back to Ungoro Crater. First ever sequel. Join Elise on the hunt for a mythical lost Tortolan city. Spoiler alert, keep an eye on that volcano. That looks cool. After uncovering the secrets That's... of the lost city, take part in a grand Did celebration a in the 33.4 mini set. The party loving Tortolans are hosting hmm. a festival in honor of the mighty dinosaurs of the crater. And we'd hate for you to miss out on all that fun. Closing out the year is our third expansion, where you'll travel with Chromie through alternate realities to recruit legendary Warcraft heroes like you've never seen them before. Okay. This all leads to an epic showdown against Murazond at the end of time, and you won't believe what happens next. Okay. You've seen just how much we've got in store for you over the next year. Heroes of StarCraft, revamped arena and three awesome expansions the starcraft thing incredibly it's kind of neat and we hope you're in definitely need to excited. see more starcraft thank you so much for being part of this incredible journey Ten in, in some in, way right our adventures in the i know rts is kind of like a very beginning. niche genre these days but as the stories and characters and all that are just too cool rumble that museum is awesome. Blizzard has this awesome tradition of sharing the journey that each team took like to Rumble. bring their game to life. I do. I think it's cute. I think this museum is a beautiful way to relive the memories of development and share that passion with the rest of Blizzard. And I did like the little levels of the challenge. Everyone? I never did a lot of PvP in it's it. It's been about but... a year since I stood on the main stage of BlizzCon and we launched Warcraft Rumble together with all of you. Yep. And what a year it's been. Hope it's All been of good. us on the team have had so much fun watching you dig into our game and explore the hero collection, the army building, have you guys played the that? biting finishes. It's pretty cool. You've beaten over 900 million bosses. Wow. And on the matter of Alliance versus Horde, you picked Team Jaina almost 10% more. But maybe, most importantly, I think you've summoned over 1 billion. I think I'm like the dragon guy, is, the, is my, is my favorite dude, chicken actually. Cut, cut. In just a Call second, we're. <laughs> Jeremy, we're, we're trying to shoot Rumble here. Oh, Rumble? Oh, look at all those little oh, thingies. I know a little bit about that. They've changed some things since I've the been in, in there in the cool. museum. Awesome. When we started working on Warcraft Rumble, we wanted to make something that harkened back to I our like those strategy little tool tips. Like the first time I booted up like, Warcraft uh, 2 on my dad's Power Max 7100 66 AV. Wow. I'm stoked to play those new remasters. But we also wanted to do something in our universe that we'd never done before. So we started imagining that maybe Somewhere in the Hearthstone Tavern, there was a mysterious arcade machine that printed miniature versions of the heroes and villains of Azeroth and zapped them to life for you to collect and command. I like the little in those cutesiness kind of, early of days it. When we were establishing the art style of Warcraft do. Rumble, we wanted a I sense of tactility. Style. We wanted to be able to pick Where's up and touch the art that somewhere. we were creating inside of the computer. I so one of some works. of us went and printed minis and painted them up like this. He's not from and Rumble. That's, kind of that's really my guy right there. Came from. All of these that minis dude. were painted by Dragon our team. Or something. And uh, well, if I'm, I'm a little bit biased, but this little guy is my favorite. <sighs> what does that say underneath? Oh, under here? Do not kiss. Oh, it says Jeremy. 
But we've done more than paint minis since our game launched. We've added new dungeons and at least one new mini every single season. Cool. We've got the Dark Moon Fair, new zones, and a whole new family feed experience. I have a lot to catch up on then. I we haven't played it since last three, year, really. Molten Core. I went ham on it last year, though. Stormwind. In our latest season, we even bust down the doors huh? of Ironforge. Yeah, I know. We I was, I was farming there, on Thanksgiving. Did. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about what's coming up. Starting right now, if you hop into Rumble, we're running our first anniversary event with some truly excellent loot. Nice. Like the loot. We're celebrating one year of Warcraft Rumble, so if you jump in after the stream, you'll be able to snag some super cool rewards, like the very valuable-looking gold kobold, which we oh. affectionately call the kobold. Okay, okay. Did you scan this thing yet? Great. How's it do? We've also been working on something really exciting for later in the season. There are some characters in Warcraft that don't fit so cleanly into just one of our families. So we're adding split leaders. These oh, leaders belong to two families at the same time, which nice. really expands the possibilities yeah. of how you build out your armies. And we're not just Sweet. adding one split like leader, that. we're starting with three. Up first, fighting for the Alliance and Cenarian families is Malfurion Stormrage. Okay. And representing the Horde and Blackrock families, we got Chieftain and former Warchief, Orgrim Doomhammer. Oh, sick. So finally, I'm kind of like the, I, I have like is the, the Black Rock guys but are some of my of strongest guys and favorites. The fight, we're going to be reworking one Sweet. that we released this time last year. Sylvanas Orgrim. Windrunner is finally taking her rightful place among both the Horde and Undead. We've got an awesome <sighs> season ahead of us and can't wait for you to check it out. We'll be right there with you to our amazing uh... fans. Thank you for an incredible first year of Warcraft Rumble. She's too prominent of a figure support. in the Warcraft Your universe. Your passion fuels our creativity and truly drives she us forward. She just won't leave. But there was one more thing we wanted to talk about. Jeremy? I'm gonna go right? play. There was one more thing we wanted to talk about, right? I'll tell him about it, bro. I'm out of here. Uh, nope, nope. That's all I had. <laughs> See you later. Uh, That's funny. So the fight said she did nothing wrong. Oh gosh, one of those. I'm gonna go play some WoW. Time to game, bro. He play big man. Oh my god, he plays a dwarf rogue. He was about to play some Rumble in queue, wasn't he? Dang it! I wish we could just like play some Rumble on the computer. While we're waiting in WoW queues. At last! At long last! Oh, I can't play that yet. All right. That's, I said that immediately. I said, this needs to be on the PC so I can play this while we're in queue. Finally. So now we can rumble it up. Finally, dude. Makes it way more comfortable to stream, which is a big we deal for so me. We're so excited that you're here to celebrate 20 years of Sweet. World of Warcraft with us. When the game first came All out right. in 2004, here we go. I remember Facebook had just launched. He's I've been, been in the game in WoW. industry for a handful sure. of years when I picked up WoW, and it kind of is. I was in awe. Even when I was running about and exploring on like my Rumble night coins and hunter, stuff, right? I made friends who would group with me and tackle just about anything, including helping me save 40 gold for my first mount. Wow. I loved it. I still do, just like many she of you. about 40 gold on her neck right there. Know, the <laughs> game saw absolutely oh, that's, that's, I bet that thing's at least 40 gold the right there. <laughs> and brought multiplayer gaming to the mainstream. That she in got turn it like created that now. countless friendships, camaraderie, an escape for people Got every it like day. That. It still does 20 years later. Darn tootin'. A main man variant, we bro. We dug into our history and guy. discovered that across two decades, together, we've accumulated one billion days <laughs> of time played in Azeroth. How, how long do you think people have watched the Lord of the Rings movies? or watch Star Wars movies. So many movies. of you have joined us over the years. The total of viewing time of Star Wars the or, and Lord of the Rings married. or whatever. Do you think it's Some a billion days? Named your kids and I don't think so. Characters and locations in the game. Veterans from all over the world. 
Those but I don't who are know. Hearing or visually I wonder. Impaired or have physical challenges. Like that amount of We've welcomed media seniors, even whole families interaction. together with their kids, and so many more who call our world home. You no think it's more than that? Are, when you come to Azeroth, you can live how you want and be who you want to be. Maybe. It's a gift for so many, and certainly to us. We feel it every day. I don't know, bro. Learning your friends are crazy? Yeah. One of those special stories it's is possible. live now on Netflix. Yeah, that a was a really sweet called The uh, Remarkable Life of Evelyn. Documentary. That was very sweet. I watched Mod's that. Did you guys see that? Who played a character named Evelyn, lived a life in Azeroth that that's very he sweet in the real world. He suffered from Duchenne muscular dystrophy for most of his yeah, life good. and fought it courageously alongside his incredible family, who I'm proud to have met and fallen in love with. Aww. Because of Mots and his roleplay guild called Starlight, his family discovered the power of online game communities and yeah, advocate cool. for gaming around the world I need to get that as little a pet. source of joy and companionship. Support the cause. Sadly, Mots was taken from this world and Azeroth yeah. far too soon. Because of Mott's and stories like his, we were inspired to create a charity pet program that is very for sweet. classic and our modern game to support Cure Duchenne, a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving and extending the lives of those affected by Duchenne muscular disease. Something that stuck with we me to thank you in advance was he would log in and like cause that offers run a lap for like 30 minutes, right? Just like Mott's. This little cutie is Revan, and he's available until January That stuck 6th. with me. He was inspired by the detective agency Mott's created for his busy roleplay life in Azeroth. There's lots of other sweet things, obviously, about his impact he had on his, his friends and, you know, that his parents realized that he had people who loved him that he loved too, which is great, but that right was now, interesting to me. we have our 20th anniversary Logged celebration went running for a run. game. We've got you know, modernized tier two armor sets, classic particularly time interesting to me. new world bosses, trading post items, rewards and more with all that nostalgic interesting flavor. in the world i might have enough of those thingies for the, the tier two set ago, we've taken the leap oh yeah into i mean the first there's a lot to think about that intron yeah makes you more grateful coming on that and of you know, course classic is always cooking but this moment classics cooking you. they are You're always the cooking over there aren't they of world of warcraft and always have been stay tuned as we share what we are serving up for you okay and thanks for making azeroth a place you call home. Hey, you too. Thank you. All right, classic enjoyers. Let's see what we got going for you guys. So we got cooking. Let's see what's up. Hey everyone, Clay and I are so excited to be here today during this anniversary celebration. So it's your production about director and lead software WoW engineer. Classic. Cool. I can't believe that after 20 years, my orc warrior is still finding new adventures in Azeroth. Fellow warrior Shout player. Okay. Shout out to all my buds Feels like just yesterday, well, I was on my okay, okay. Up, Druid, ganking some buddies on the Tenaris realm at the crossroads. <laughs> Sorry about that. Being on the classic team and getting to help contribute to this incomparable legacy, which has breathed new life. Yeah, I'm not like the, the biggest classic, classic guy. I've realized sure from playing classic. I love how vocal and passionate our player base but is. We'll see. Not only we'll about see. what parts of WoW's history they want to see. I love that it exists. But also their passion for things we right? try and have experimented. I love with. that people get Speaking to. Speaking of us taking some pretty big swings. Style of games they of love discovery, and get to We keep love watching that. you use your new class abilities. Yeah. Take on our all new level up raids. Find secrets and team up to defeat Ragnaros. Yeah, and in Kata, yeah. We're the, looking forward to the The more modern the game becomes, the more fun I tend to have with it. Which will lead right into the launch of the Encourage raid. This will bring new changes and surprises and that started to feel pretty smooth to bring to you. Fun new mechanics, difficulty changes, new rewards. You know we'll us see, well enough this by now to know exactly how we'll mix it up as you wager your sanity for ancient Karaji riches. Beyond that, for Season of Discovery, we have one more phase to come. We previously announced... We it is fun to show off Zygor of and how good it is for leveling. Era. So get ready not uh, only in for classic, though. That's one good thing about it. Show some love to our sponsor. Featuring the Scarlet Crusade, as well as adventures in Death. I do like that. Or is good a mob? Now, to Catacomb. Some would classic, say they were the best. We recently bro. launched the legendary Fire Mop Warrior was a work of art. difficult challenges, besting Ragnaros and his feet. And, are and it'll be fun to see, spoiler alert, like, own Dragon Wrath staff. if the way we're we remember it is the accurate. Final phase of Cataclysm Classic. Yeah, when Warrior was a work of art in Mop. And Dragon Soul Raid launch There's going to be a lot of Warriors in Mop. I kind of like there are a lot of worries in, out there in must be curious where we're going next. But let's be honest, you know where we're going next. 
Yeah. Mop Warrior. Something special. It was busted in the beginning, but we're not playing in the beginning. We're going to play in the last patch. And the last patch of Mob Warrior was a work of art. Wrath may have been the most powerful that Warriors ever were, but Mop may have been the best design that Warriors ever had. Like a really solid, like, offense, defense, utility combo. Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't play Mop Warrior, you're in for a treat. Every class is really good at mop. That's the thing. Yeah. Class design across the board was pretty good. There were a lot of buttons, and so they they pruned during wad. But like your buttons were cool. It wasn't like there were too many buttons in mop. It was just like there were too many buttons to then add more buttons to it for the next expansion. Is why they pruned it. But um, mop had a lot of really interesting things. So. There's a possibility that Mop may be even more popular than Kata. It's possible. At least for a few years, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, no, it's... Uh, this could be very, very cool. Very, very cool. The Classic team is proud to announce that Missa Pandaria Classic is coming. Awesome. We can't wait to bring it to you next summer with its next legendary summer. class design and cool, incredible okay. raids and dungeons set amongst a gorgeous environment and backed by an unforgettable soundtrack. We'll it probably comes out right as we leave for vacation. Pandaria has to offer together. <laughs> what do you think, Jenny? You gonna take bets on that? Bop Classic comes out like right when we leave for vacation. Mr. Pandaria Classic is super exciting for all of it's us. It's summer. As well as Season of Discovery. And we love that we'll continue to be on that journey with you. Yeah, probably, huh? But we know. Wait, we'll bring that laptop. We spend some time on the internet. And we've heard some of you out there. <laughs> we'll see. You want something. We'll see, we'll see. Fresh. Which is why we are so pleased to announce that we are bringing you the classic, classic experience. That's so funny. All new Fresh Realms with the WoW Classic it's so funny. 20th anniversary. But edition. what's amazing about Classic, particularly the, the vanilla Classic ones, play. is that Actually they are very soon. attentive to the community. These realms will be going live next week on That's November 21st, nutty. but you won't have to rush to level 60. That's crazy. Classic is all about that the like Thanks level. so much, man. Big flex for 31 months, man. Thank you, dude. Our first raid, Molten Core, won't unlock for a few weeks after launch. We'll be launching realms weeks. of all flavors. PvP, oh my gosh. normal PvE, and for the you very rush, first time, you got a few weeks. Hardcore, which will progress through the phases and lockstep with the other two. This means we just a had a fresh baby, though, start so for everyone at the same time. That changes things. Together. Everybody, thanks so much for the prime as well, man. Big flex for you for the 14 months. Appreciate it, dude. Very large realms. Actually, for Classic Fresh, yeah, a lot of people will be, which Wild is great. Classics initial launch in 2019, this is the perfect time to join See, our vanilla community. TBC These Warrior. servers will also nope. launch with some of the quality of life features good. that came later <laughs> on, like the Chrono Goon Displacer to save your world buffs, and the improved PvP honor ranking system. And yes, okay. We're also pleased to announce that like these auto -attacking. realms will progress to the Burning Crusade Classic. Classic Fresh will be fun? I don't know, man. We'll see. There's a good chance I won't. But we'll see. Launching these servers close to the exact date World of Warcraft came out 20 maybe, years maybe ago. Maybe I'll level, because we're going to be on vacation for that. Season of Discovery, I could level Cataclysm Classic, classic Wild Warrior while we're Pandaria on classic vacation. That's pretty chill. So much to us. We love this game, and we love the community that has made Classic Realms <laughs> their home alongside their friends. Oh, all of us on the Classic team, thank you. So he's like, you really think you're going to do that? I'm like, I don't by know. You are incredible Keep my options open, Jack. Come on now. <laughs> We didn't stream at all last uh, last Thanksgiving. Kind of nice. Hi everyone, we're in the middle of such an incredible. Probably gonna miss the boat. World of Warcraft. Bro, you guys are rocking the little the, the little beard recently. It's looking good on them. August, with the launch of the War Within, and we have been so excited to dive into the expansion good alongside look. all of you. Whether you enjoy raiding dungeons, delves, yeah, PvP, cool. collecting appearances, pets, and mounts, I know how you guys feel about playing, my beard. Or exploring the open world, I'm a fan of the, of the of Ian beard. Azeroth it's good. Brings you joy. It's humbling to be standing here on the eve Fit, of the right 20th anniversary. Staying Looking healthy? Back, 20 years ago, I was Got fresh in? out of school, and I had just seen enough of the beta to know that I needed to play this game, and then immediately stopped to avoid spoiling the experience for myself. I'd booked a couple days off work for launch and was looking forward to really diving into Azeroth. Yeah, little which, did I know that my expansion? server would be offline for the first few days due to overwhelming demand. Shout oh, out to Melganis. But even oh, less geez. could I imagine how this game would in so many ways define the rest of the course of my adult life.
So let's talk about what's coming up. Yeah, what's going on here? Around. Starting with what's on the horizon. We have 1107 Siren Isle, which is currently up on our public test realms. Okay. This update will go live next month, and it has something for everyone. That's one of my the favorite transmog front, swords, the one the guy had. This update includes epilogue quest lines for Dalaran and the Kirin Tor. No spoilers, but this storyline features the mysterious Harrenir, who also okay. plays a starring role in our expansion release cinematic. Ooh. We'll also get into the prologue for where cool. we're going next, but more on that in a minute. All right. Seven also, of course, brings its namesake, the Siren Isle, a new right. outdoor environment to explore, full of mysteries to uncover and rewards to help catch up your alts and prepare for the next war within. Oh, they show the ring like that. Plunderstorm is returning. That's this hype. time with a plunder store to give you more flexibility in earning your rewards instead of that linear renown track. Okay. Also making a return will be the latest iteration of our turbulent timeways event. Plunderstorm, sick. Reason. We can't wait for you all to experience this update really fun. next month. Like As that. an additional treat for those of you Aww. invested in the story of the War Within, we will be releasing a novella that explains exactly what happened to Jaina and Thrall after they left us. This That's novella cool. is narrated by none other than Chris Metzen and available today. <laughs> wow, okay. Neat. We do love Thunderstorm so, Shadow. I know many of you have already seen a World First seven. W, you and me, bro. You have to be wondering <laughs> where the War Within is going to take us after that. In our okay. second game. So following Zalatath's trail is going to lead us to a location that I've been personally excited about since we first settled on the idea of an underground expansion. Undermine, the what capital the of the goblins' trade empire. Wow. Fittingly, our name for the 11-1 patch is Undermined with a D. That is funny. This is a city unlike any city we've seen before in World of Warcraft, standing as a testament Go to underground the intelligence and creativity wow. of the goblins as masters of technology and alchemy. Huh. And as our adventures continue, we will learn more about goblin culture That's kind of a cool vibe. before. What's important to them? What problems they're trying they're to solve? They're coughing with bombs. What they're capable of as a society. Everything that makes them truly unique. Huh. Beyond the humor and the explosions. Though just to Taking be clear, a break from there's spiders, be a whole thankfully. Lot of You'll arrive at an that's undermine cool that's plunged into conflict between the four major goblin cartels. Steamweedle, Blackwater, Bilgewater, and of course, the Venture Company. Oh, but we still have like this sort of political thing going on. Interesting. You will align yourself with the group of your choice and run into indeed. notorious goblins like Monty Gaslow, Renzik the Shiv, Baron Revelgaz, Marin Nagenfager, and more. <laughs> now, if you're gonna be in cahoots with a goblin cartel, you can't be seen rolling around in anything less than a truly blinged out ride. So oh, early okay. on, you'll earn a vehicle designed just for Undermine to push the boundaries of locomotion within World of Warcraft. Huh. Undermine was built for speed with roads designed for driving, which is just as well because this car travels much, much faster than your regular ground mounts. Okay. You can also further adjust your car's driving characteristics. Do you prefer grip or do you want to drift more? So it's going to be like Mario Kart, huh? It's going to come at the expense of GTA? your top speed. That's up to you. Oh you my can gosh. Try it all. And That's rule funny. The streets of Undermine. Be drifting, man. Be drifting. 40 yards at a time. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's we'll pretty awesome. A new dungeon in Undermine. Operation That's pretty Floodgate, awesome. Which is a race to stop a group of goblins from blowing a dam that would bring oh, no. ruin to the ringing deeps. That's not this good. This dungeon will also be immediately yeah, that is awesome. as part of our new season two dungeon pool. We're sliding around heroic, town. Mythic and Mythic Plus difficulties alongside the nice. four other launch dungeons and three returning legacy dungeons. Now we'll have okay. many more details in the weeks ahead, cool. but I can tell you that one of those legacy dungeons, naturally in light of our goblin theme here. All right, so the did they give us a date? That would give us an idea of when the season's ending, I guess, huh? Continuing to build upon one of our <laughs> We've got some work to do. of the war within. This new zone I don't brings know if I with like it that two new delves anyway. for you to explore, and we're creating new variations on the existing delves. We'll see. We're also introducing seasonal updates to Bran Bronzebeard, a new okay. adversary to follow Zekvir, gotcha. and a new set of goblin-inspired Drops are easy, just hang out. Bran. Of course, just hang out, you're good to go. Also means Welcome. a new raid zone. We have an eight boss raid called the Liberation of Undermine cool. coming your way, which oh, takes dang. you through the streets of the city and into the magnificent Galagio, brimming with color <laughs> and extravagance. Wow. It also hides the dark secrets of its owner, the one and only Gallywix. Here we and go. For the arena PVPers out there, yep. we're also introducing a new arena map set oh, right amidst the city. Cool. That's pretty neato. Now, some of you they show a timeline chart, right? Do they give dates though? Or is it just like summer? And how goblin politics fall. relate to the fate of our world soul. But rest assured, 
Undermine plays a vital role as a continuation, a next chapter in the many stories that are unfolding in The War Within. We will have right. a lot more to share on that front in the months ahead. Yeah, it's kind of insane because they were like announced like three expansions on the way, right? No dates? That's fine. That's fine. It's hard for me to not think that of Diablo when I see her. Of what we have planned for You're the right. Next yeah, they year. have just now, this. As you can see, 2025 Winter. is going to be an incredible year for both modern okay. and classic WoW players. Winter. Gotcha. Yeah, for the uh, as the World Soul Saga the next patch of War Within. Unfold, we are reflecting on these past 20 years with immense gratitude as we lay the foundations upon which to build. The so we have 20. RTS stuff out now. On behalf of the entire world, Fre of classic team, fresh. Thank you so next much week. for being the heart of the history and then kind of, of like Azeroth. Stuff. Whether you've just joined our coming on the way, okay. been with us for the last two decades, or somewhere in between, thank you for making Azeroth your home. Oh, the guilds. And speaking of home, Sweet. the team does have one more thing. Oh yeah. To share with you. That's right. This is crazy. I wonder what this is going to be like. Because this could be really good. It could be kind of eh, but it could be really good. People kind of think of, like, oh, garrisons, but, like, what if it's really actually good, though? Right? Pretty cool. You can't imagine like Harrison's right. That would be the concern, but uh, yeah, I, Thank I doubt you it. Thank for joining us today and for being with us for the past three decades. The All Warcraft right. universe is a living, breathing world that's been experienced by over 250 million players around the globe. It's crazy. That's millions of stories of adventure, laughter, and true connection. And as the years have passed and our communities have grown and evolved, the statue they love behind us they gave reminds us two all shout outs. how important Warcraft Sarth is too. and continues to be. It serves as a reminder of our shared passion for building Azeroth together. And it's you who truly bring Warcraft to life, our players, oh, armor. and the communities you are a part of. Thank you for being the lifeblood <laughs> of this world that means so much to all of us. 30 years of history is the perfect foundation upon which we will build for the bright future ahead. And we can't Gaming wait right to walk that road up. alongside you. And before we go, we want to share something very special. This That's September, audio. 190 performers took to the stage to celebrate 20 years of World of Warcraft with a series of concerts in Switzerland. Yeah, I kind Prepare of to dive back into the history of Am I allowed of to listen to this? Or is that going to get me? incredible soundtrack performed live. Uh, and whether this almost music certainly will get me memories, copyright muted, right? Or you're hearing some of these pieces for the first time, we hope you enjoy the performance. We'll listen to it Here's after. Here's to the next 30 years. Yeah, at least 30 years. Woo, look at that little puppy. He's excited too. <laughs> nice. Go team. Amazing. Amazing. I'm thinking more like YouTube, Mabella, but yeah, whatever. No biggie. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff for the Alliance. Ludo saw your big flex for you. I'm with you, man. For the Alliance. That's awesome. That was really, really cool stuff. Lots of things to look forward to. Again, I was, I've said it probably three times already. I love that they're kind of leaning into Warcraft again. I think that it was definitely a good idea to try to, like, come up with some new IPs and, and work those into the mix. Um, with, like, you know, like Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm and things like that. Um, but I personally love that they're, like, Warcraft has continued to be, like, you know, a workhorse for us, and people are continuing to be like very passionate about it, and are even passionate about going like back to the beginning and doing classic stuff. So maybe we should just keep hammering this Warcraft thing, and then they have been. And I think, I mean, it's my personal favorite, but I think it it, it fits Blizzard really well. Where it's like it has some like epic fantasy stuff in there, but it also has like its coziness as well. Like they said, and like people say, it has a little something for everyone, but it really does. And um, you know, personally, as a big fan of Warcraft, I mean, I've won. 30 more years, man. 30 more years. It's It's been amazing to be part of it uh, for as long as I have been. And I think I have made a positive impact in, in, you know, my community. And we'll keep on doing that. But yeah, congrats, Warcraft, on your 30th anniversary. And thanks for letting me be part of it. And here's to 30 more years, man. That's awesome.
let's listen to some music and uh figure out what games we want to play i actually have a fairly strong hankering to uh maybe play some warcraft 3 campaign or something like that we'll talk about it we'll talk about it but yeah that was great gg blizz keep it up <laughs> 